Hi, I'm Jim Goddard, your local crank. I want to talk today about American politics, and in particular about President Trump. No, not that guy. This guy. Recently, the Mueller report came out, and it was released in full. And the president says that it vindicates him, but it doesn't. The report is actually full of information and uh, documents that really indict the Trump presidency as uh, complicit in the uh, hacking of the uh, American uh, election in 2016 and a number of other things. But unlike a lot of people, I never expected the Mueller report to uh, result in the president being indicted for a number of reasons. Number one, there is a policy of the U.S. Justice Department that says you can't indict a sitting president. Now, it's not a law, it's a policy, and it's a policy based on opinion. And that opinion, uh, like most other opinions, is, uh, you know, not set in stone. It can change. And I think, uh, you know, that may be a good thing, maybe a bad thing. I don't know. That's for Americans to judge whether or not they think their president should be subject to the same laws that everyone else is. But that being said, uh, I think it's important to note that uh, it was never going to result in the president being indicted because uh, he was never going to cooperate with the investigation. Uh, his uh, members of his family uh, did not uh, voluntarily submit to being questioned by the special counsel. And uh, it, was, it would be very hard to get evidence, particularly evidence of uh, intent in that situation. As well, uh, Robert Mueller is uh, not the kind of man who will wander outside the lines, uh, color outside the lines, and uh, in order to uh, prosecute uh, the President of the United States. And so what we have is a roadmap for Congress to impeach the President, which is really the only result that was ever going to come from the Mueller report. Now, the problem with that is that uh, Congress will not impeach President Trump, and I'll tell you why. Uh, while the House of Representatives, which is now controlled by the Democrats, uh, could uh, bring forward articles of impeachment against President Trump, and probably successfully vote them through the House of Representatives, he will never be uh, convicted in the Senate, which is where the trial will take place. The reason for that is quite simple. The uh, Republicans control the Senate. Uh, they will not uh, vote to impeach the president, uh, to convict the president and impeach him, remove him from office, and uh, that is because uh, the Republican Party uh, no longer uh, has the moral fortitude to fulfill its obligations under the U.S. Constitution. Now, when will that change? It will only change uh, when the system is, com is uh, completely revamped in the U.S., uh, where the gerrymandering is removed uh, so that uh, there is fair elections uh, in every district throughout the United States. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, what will happen, and what is the really the only option for the United States, uh, if the majority of the electorate wants to remove President Trump from office is uh, to participate fully in the next election campaign, uh, to make an informed choice, and uh, choose a better person to be president. Now that shouldn't be too hard to find, but right now there are 20 Democrats running for president, and they range right across the uh, political spectrum uh, from the uh, center left uh, to the center right to the uh, very far out left. Even by Canadian standards, some of these uh, candidates are uh, quite far to the left. Although uh, almost any Canadian politician would be considered a left wing loony in the United States uh, because we support universal health care. Uh, we support uh, a wide range of policies that the Americans would never countenance, including uh, uh, policies to uh, fight climate change, uh, policies uh, to redistribute income through the child tax credit. These are things that the Americans would not countenance. Now, 
there is one other option, and that is the investigations which are currently uh, being carried out by the, uh, by the Southern District of New York, and uh, the uh, prosecution there may result in uh, President Trump being charged, but that won't be likely for any of the things related to the uh, election in 2016. It is more likely to be for financial crimes uh, related to the operation of the Trump businesses. And uh, as I have said again for many years, it is far more likely that Trump will be convicted of uh, crimes uh, based on investigation uh, by the uh, Securities and Exchange Commission or uh, some other uh, financial uh, fraud uh, related to his business. And uh, I think it is quite likely that uh, somewhere down the line uh, that will happen. However, as I said, the only way for the American people to rid themselves of this horrible human being uh, is uh, to participate in the election, uh, to vote against him, and uh, to vote, participate fully, which means get out, and donate money, uh, campaign on behalf of a Democratic candidate, because uh, let's face it, a third party candidate is not going to win in the United States. and. Uh, uh, that will only happen uh, when there is a fully, uh, a fully realized uh, reconstitution of the American electorate and the American election system. Now, I'm not suggesting that they should change uh, from uh, much from what they have, but they have to remove uh, the dark money. They have to remove the super PACs. They have to remove uh, the gerrymandering of uh, election districts. They have to uh, come into the 20th century in terms of voting. Uh, they have to allow uh, greater participation. Uh, there are an, a whole range of things that uh, need to happen in the United States, uh, including the removal of the Electoral College and have uh, the elections based on the will of the electorate. Anyway, that's my take. Uh, here's another picture of the orangutan. He's a much happier fella. Have a good day.